हेलो स्टूडेंट्स होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर फाइन स्टूडेंट्स एज यू नो दैट टिल नाउ वी हैव कंप्लीटेड टू चैप्टर्स ऑफ क्लास सिक्स बायोलॉजी दैट इज चैप्टर वन प्लांट लाइफ एंड चैप्टर टू ह्यूमन बॉडी नाउ स्टूडेंट्स फॉर द नेक्स्ट टू वीक्स वी आर गोइंग टू रिवाइज दीज टू चैप्टर्स एज ए पार्ट ऑफ दिस फर्स्टली वी आर गोइंग टू रिवाइज चैप्टर वन प्लांट लाइफ सो फॉर टूडे we are going to revise some important terms from chapter 1 and after this again we are going to discuss the chapter as well as at last we will discuss question answers from the chapter so students those who have missed the earlier videos or earlier lectures they have to kindly pay attention here so now we starts students you can see i have written here 10 important terms these terms you can find in your chapter now starting from the first the first term is gynoecium now see what this gynoecium is this gynoecium is it is the female reproductive part of flower so you all know that flower is the reproductive part of plant so in flower also there is male part as well as female part so this gynoecium is the female part of the flower second term is fertilization now what this fertilization is this is actually fusion of male and female gametes fusion the male gametes it fuses with the female gametes fusion is actually addition they combine third is sessile leaf it is a type of leaf which is directly attached to the stem without a leaf stalk the fourth important term is androecium now students see this androecium it is the male reproductive part of flower fifth is root system in the videos that i have sent you earlier you have gone through the root system and shoot system of the plant so this root system is basically the part of plant that lies below the surface of soil to plant ka wo wala hissa wo wala bhag wo wala part jo ki zameen ke niche rehta hai usko kya bolte hain root system the sixth important term is pollination now students see pollination is a very important process in the reproduction of plants what actually this pollination is it is the transfer of pollen grains from the anther of a flower to the stigma of the same flower or another flower of the same species so what actually ha is happening in this pollination the pollen grains they are being transferred they are getting transferred from the male part to the female part compound leaf now see compound leaf is it is a leaf in which the lamina is divided into many small parts called leaflets like in the case of tamarind imli ke jo aapne patte dekhe honge neem ke patte dekhe honge to wo kya hai aapke compound leaves usme basically kya hote hain aapke aapne dekhe honge aapko design the dikhai dete hain usme kya hai jo har patti kya hai alag alag divide hai उसको हम बोलते हैं लीफ लेट्स द एट्थ टर्म इज जर्मिनेशन नाउ स्टूडेंट सी यू ऑन नो दैट इफ द प्रोसेस ऑफ जर्मिनेशन इज नॉट देयर देन द सीड इज नॉट गोइंग टू जर्मिनेट एंड इज नॉट इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू डेवलप इन टू न्यू बेबी प्लांट सो वट एक्चुअली दिस जर्मिनेशन इज द प्रोसेस बाय विच द डॉर्मेंट एम्ब्रियो विद इन द सीड बिकम्स एक्टिव एंड ग्रोज इन टू अ न्यू प्लांट so inside the seed you all know there is a baby small teeny plant which is known as embryo and whenever that suitable conditions comes that embryo it becomes active and it grows into a new plant ninth term is transpiration now see what this transpiration is it is process of evaporation of water from the surface of leaves so 
due to heat and due to high temperature from the surface of leaves the water it gets evaporated in the form of water vapor and this process is known as transpiration tenth term is venation now you can see here it is the arrangement of veins and veinlets on the lamina of leaf so students these are the 10 important terms from this chapter and you have to go through all these terms and you have to note it down in your fair notebook in the next lecture we will discuss the complete chapter and as well as we will discuss question answer